Hello and welcome back to another video and in this one we'll be looking at this fantastic 1970s Eccles mining lamp. I've always liked the look of these, I've always wanted to get hold of one of these and then work out how it looks and I was really lucky to get hold of this fantastic one, unused, great condition and this one is what's known as a supervisor's or manager's lamp. The difference with this one being that it has the silver top as opposed to being all in brass. So it sets it apart from the majority that you see. Um, as I alluded to, used in the 1970s uh, in the coal mines. Uh, and I think later on when they were being phased out, they were kind of also given to people after they'd served in the mines as a, 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 for a period of time as a, as a leaving gift. But I haven't been able to fully nail that down. But these these heart back to an era when things like lamps were just made so well and just such a great looking thing. So I'm going to show you the outside and then I'm actually then going to strip it all down and show you how they actually uh, fit together and, and take apart and how you use them, which is why I really wanted to get hold of one of these. So obviously you've got your hook to, to hang it in the, in the mine or, or, or to use as a carrying handle. On the front here, you can see at the bottom, the maker is Eccles and it's a protector lamp and lighting because it was to uh, alert you kind of if there were any fumes down there. Um, so protect you from those fumes, but also to provide a source of lighting. So protector uh, lamp and lighting co limited. And this is a type six M and Q safety lamp uh, approval number B slash 28. Um, so you've got that silver housing inside there's a, a mesh a kind of a flame mesh there's actually two of them down here we have the uh, the glass part that uh, surrounds the flame and then you've got your striker which i'll show you when we take it apart because i don't want to uh, to light the wick in here we would have our um, flammable liquid our paraffin or, what, or whatever else would be in there and so you'd have your flammable liquid the wick in the middle you use your striker Obviously that would then illuminate through the glass with the fumes coming out through the top uh, there. So the condition, as you can see, is, is really nice. You know, I've just, I have stripped and lightly polished it very carefully. Um, you have literally got on the top where the handle kind of sits, there's just the slightest of signs there. You've kind of got the odd fingerprint mark uh, that, that, you know, but we are, we, are pick, we are being very picky. This is in fantastic unused condition. So that's the lamp and I'll show you how the, the lamp is taken apart. Um, so first thing is over here, there is this, this hinge here. Now I think there might have, well, there probably was an additional pin here to stop this being opened uh, inadvertently. It doesn't have that pin there, it would just be a brass pin that would go down. Basically you just uh, hold here and slide that hinge out like so. And then that then allows, because this, this thing here is to stop it rotating because it would hit the bars. So once that's moved out of the way, you can then rotate this top portion of the lamp. Or you could rotate the bottom, whichever one you find easier. And that then releases our bottom portion. And what you have there is... Uh, a wick inside this tube and it's very much like you know the the concept of a zippo lighter if you remove the wick there's some wadding in here and then you would basically remove your wick pour the uh, the flammable liquid into there that would uh, kind of uh wet the wadding and then you would light your wick and then it and then it would uh obviously burn there's a, a, a screw here at the bottom or an adjuster and what that does is as you adjust it it moves this cover up and down so what you could do is have it adjusted all the way as I'm turning it you can see it moving up on the screw so you'd have the wick there and then as your wick burnt down you would tighten it up to reveal more of the wick as it as it as it burnt uh, on, on its way down to the bottom so that's that's how you'd adjust the the wick height once that's done to get inside there's another little uh, safety element and that is this bar here so when when the um um, when this is attached on the top, you cannot remove this because what happens is that bar is obviously sat like this. And so you can't undo the top. Once you've removed the bottom, this bar then drops down and that allows the top portion to rotate. So we rotate like this. And then our top cowling can then be removed. So that comes off. And these are our kind of flame screens or smoke screens or whatever and there's not just one 
but there's actually two of them. So we removed this one here. And again, you can see totally unused condition. The inner one here, so the inner kind of flame screen. A small O-ring on top of the glass. So if I pop this down now, you can remove the glass portion here. You've got this uh, kind of cork or whatever O-ring for, the, for, the, for that to sit on, so it's not directly onto the glass. And then that then gets you all the way down to the internal mechanism where you can adjust here on the flint, on the striker for operation. Now, the way this works is you pull this, uh, this section out here, and then as you push in, you can see the flint then uh, is turned on the, on the, on the striker. And it, and it strikes like so, and you can adjust or, or, or ease off however much you need, because as that wears down, you would tighten it up, tighten it, tighten it up until eventually you'd have to replace that. So you can imagine when you have your wick in there, which would be soaked with all the paraffin, you'd then strike that, and then your wick would just burn away and generate the light through the glass. So really lovely, mechanical, well-built, uh, you know, stunning piece of, uh, of just history of the way things used to be made. And that also gives you a real nice uh, opportunity just to see the overall condition, everything there, really lovely. So then to rebuild, it's exactly the opposite. What we have to do is, because you can't put this on straight away because your safety, your safety part would come in. So we have to rebuild this section first. So taking the glass, carefully putting it back inside. And again, there's another kind of cork O-ring at the bottom. Place this one on top. Put the first screen on, second screen. You can then retighten the top. Like so. And now we now we are so that should now be in a position where this will go all the way up like so. And now carefully just uh, put the wick back through the hole in the base. And we can screw that down. All the way around, close that up. And that's the lamp all rebuilt. So that's how you can strip it down to clean it if, if it need be, if you're getting uh, polish and stuff in the cracks. So a real quick video, it's the 1970s Eccles Type 6 um, miner's lamp for protection and light lighting. This is a silver topped version, so it'd be used by the, the deputies, the managers in the mines. And this appears to me to be completely unused and a fantastic uh, example of this lamp. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, share, comment, subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And until the next one, all the best, take care and see you.